Hey guys, Allison here. I have a question for you. Is mental illness contagious? Now, in my education and training, of course, we were told it's not contagious. And yet, if we look at the state of the world right now, I'm inclined to say that it is. Now, what can make somebody mentally ill when it's not already, let's say, a biological predisposition that they may have? All right. Think about this. When we are fearful, when we are pressured, when we are isolated, it's going to have psychological effects on us. You know, it's interesting when we think about how we as a civilized nation have prohibitions against using torture against political prisoners, right? It's unfair, it's terrible to terrorize somebody that way. And yet we have been subjected to an all out terror campaign over the last six months, maybe seven months, where we are being isolated from one another, fear of everything, fear of dying, fear of losing our loved ones, fear of our loved ones being harmed, fear of violence in the streets, fear of our future. It's a constant onslaught and it is making us ill. It is making our society truly mentally ill. So how do we counter this? I think it's really important that we be really super grounded in prayer, that we be focused on God and his solutions. We need to be charitable toward others. You know, there's a lot of controversy right now. Should we wear masks? Should we not wear masks? There are strong feelings on either side, but I think we've got to not be vilifying the other side. If somebody wants to wear a mask, they should wear a mask. If somebody doesn't want to wear a mask, it doesn't mean that they want to kill the whole village. It's not what people are making it out to be. There are legitimate feelings and data on both sides of that issue. So if we want to be mentally healthy, then we need to withdraw from this terror campaign. We need to not allow those forces out there, the mainstream media and others that have an agenda that want to keep pushing, 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 fear, 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 until we give up all our freedoms and we really start to lose our minds. You know, it's very concerning to me, the level of depression out there, the level of anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder is absolutely through the roof. And the suicide rate has increased tremendously. Domestic abuse has increased tremendously. So there is a lot more that matters than simply whether or not you get the virus. So my suggestion is this, be grounded in prayer, focus forward that God is the solution to our problems. He's not the problem, he has not abandoned us, but we need to be grounded in truth. And that's the most important thing. Of course, we're not getting the truth most of the time from the media. We're getting all sorts of conflicting uh, opinions most of the time. If you think about when the virus first uh, started, you know, you shouldn't wear a mask, you're saving for the workers, and now you should wear a mask, and sometimes it's, you know, um, airborne and maybe it's not airborne. We're getting a lot of conflicting information, and it's driving us crazy, right? And for some people, they are having some really serious, serious mental health effects with this. So if it is contagious, and I believe it is, we can also stop the contagion by withdrawing from it. And I think that's a really important thing we need to do. So focus on God, focus on your faith, focus on the coming era of peace. Every mystic, you know, or I should say many, many mystics, have pre predicted that there will be an era of peace. Mary promised us at Fatima that in the end her immaculate heart will triumph. And every indication is that we're moving in that direction. But let's face it, if the devil's losing his hold in society, he's going to make a heck of a lot of noise to try to scare us because what's his goal? He wants us to lose our souls. So remain grounded in Jesus. Do not give in to fear. Do not give in to despair. This, we're on the winning side here, folks. So stay grounded in faith. Okay, make sure you like and share the video and make sure you hit the subscribe button. God bless you.